Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to do the integration between the Jenkins and GitHub. So in my last video, I already explained you how to install the Jenkins on your local machine. And later on, uh, in my last video as well, I told you how to how to configure email ID, how how to configure your Gmail account in your Jenkins account. So these two videos, we in these two videos, I already explained how to install the Jenkins and how to configure gmail account on your jenkins machine and today we are going to learn about the very very important part which is named as a jenkins and github integration so for that i'm opening my uh, my uh, jenkins uh, local host machine so here i'm opening and here i'm inserting the valid password like i insert the i set it the admin admin password over there username and password once i click over here i just need to click on this new item so whenever i'm clicking on this new item it means new uh, project I, or a new pipeline will be created so here i'm clicking on this new item and here you can see guys i need to click on like uh, ganesh jadav automation studio uh, jenkins or or we can say that pipeline okay pipeline this job i'm uh, this job name i'm giving over here once this is done guys i need to click on this pipeline options once I click on like whenever I need to create the pipeline so that time every time I must need to select the pipeline option and once I'm clicking on this pipeline then only then this ok button will be appeared for you so you can able to click on this ok button so here I'm clicking on this button and once I'm clicking on this button my pipeline will create it which is named as a Ganesh Jada Automation Studio okay once this is done guys now what I need to do now here you can see four options you can see over here general build advanced options uh, advanced project options and pipeline we can see these options i can see now uh, we are directly jump on this pipeline option uh, all these three options we are going to learn later on like after four or five minutes definitely we are going to learn about this these options guys now here i'm directly click on this pipeline options and here you can see i need to select the pipeline script from scm pipeline script from source code manager so this is this is means this is what exactly i need to set guys Okay, once I am selecting these options, I need to select which SCM means which source code manager system you can you can you are going to select. So here I am selecting the Git options over here. Once I am selecting these Git options, you can see guys, uh, you can see uh, you will get options like you need you must need to provide whatever repository you will have that repository options you need to provide. Once this is done, now now if your repository is public, then and only then you need to provide the uh, access credentials so let me open my github repository guys so here i'm opening my github repository so once i open my github repository i'm i'm opening like one of these uh, github repository over here like uh, here you can see i have a multiple github repository so here out of this uh, i am just uh, selecting this uh, this github repository i need to select this evening batch automation demo did this repository i'm selecting over here once i'm selecting this repo i'm just copying this repository url and i just need to provide this url over here guys if you are not providing you if you are just providing the github account url then definitely you will get some kind of error over here okay here you can see guys you will get some kind of error so always be remember you must need to provide the proper i mean to say complete uh, github repository url once once you are done with once you are providing this url over here so what you need to do like here credential so credential is completely different now this repository is public so i don't need to provide any credential if this repository is private then and only then i need to provide the username and password over here so i don't need to provide any uh, access credential over here once this is done what i need to do guys i need to scroll down and here i need to select my branch which branch i'm going to create so here like oh, which branch i have like main branch this is main branch i have so here i just need to write down main branch over here selecting the main branch over here once this is done i need to scroll down and here you can see guys script path so i i need to select this file so jenkins files uh, we have so what exactly we need to do we need to provide the jenkins file in in that particular repository and based on that i need to provide some kind of groovy scripts over there and whenever developer merging their code in the cicd pipeline i mean to say in in their uh, 
repository then our job will automatically trigger so what exactly i am doing right now i am just copying the script and i am creating the <coughs> jenkins files over here so how to create so here i just need need to click on my repository and here i need to click on this create new files once i am creating new files over here what i need to do guys i need to paste like this like here you can see guys i need to copy the scripts and i need to paste the scripts over here now this is the groovy steps groovy groovy scripts basically we have guys always be remember like whenever we are writing any code uh, like which is integrated for these jenkins and github so we must need to write down the groovy script like whenever developer uh, raising their mr or pull request and whenever developer merge their pull request or mr in in the particular version control uh, or we can say that particular repository so always be remember this three four steps uh, is executing now what is the meaning of this three four steps like the, our pipeline always start with the pipeline now agent we are using any agent over here once this is done now we have the stages like you remember in the pom.xml we have the dependency stack and in that particular dependency stack we are providing the multiple dependency so like that we have the multiple stages over here now i mean to say single stage we have stages we have and inside this single inside this tag inside the tag we are providing the stage over here so <clears throat> you can provide the multiple stage over here now whenever developer merging their mr in the particular git repository so so after the, after the new code added or after the existing uh, refactor of that code so your pipeline will be triggered like new build will be created once new build will be created now uh, what exactly happened deploy will be happened and once deploy is happened in that particular test environment your test will be executed this will be the my pro like uh, normal scenario we have and once you are like <clears throat> once your qe test case will executed you are like your pipeline status will be heated guys and you will get the email on your particular machine or uh, on your particular email id so this is email id i am configuring so here you can see stages we have once you are done with these stages inside the stages we have the steps now in these steps whatever steps like you wanted to perform you can perform over here now in the normal scenario in other languages just take an example of the java language in that java language basically whenever you wanted to print something we must need to use system.out.println or print a statement we can use okay so same thing whenever in the groovy statement we want to print something that time echo statement echo word we are using echo word always used for the printing purpose so this is the basic scenario we have now what exactly i'm trying to do guys once i'm creating this file <clears throat> what exactly i'm just adding uh, the few things over here and not not few things you don't need to add even over here only what you need to do you must need to add the word over here jenkins file always remember whatever name you are giving over here this name and this name should be same guys otherwise otherwise your job will not trigger once this is done i am committing this new files once i am done with these things guys what exactly you can see now jenkins job is created over now i mean to say jenkins files is created over there now the meaning of this term like what what is the meaning guys like whenever i am selecting this options pipeline script from scm it means whenever developer merging their code merging their mr in that particular repository we are checking developer is is any code merged by the developer if s yes, then this pipeline will be triggered so this is basic thing i need to configure once this is done and just click on this apply button and i am clicking on this save button once this is done guys one more important thing i would like to tell you what important thing like whenever developer like whenever developer is merging their code our pipeline will automatically trigger so let's let's consider some of the scenario now what i'm trying to do guys i am just doing some kind of refactor over here in in this particular uh, testng.xml classes here you can see this annotations folder and here you can see guys i am just opening this file and i am just editing this file over here and here i am just adding the new statement that's it like only print statement i am adding over here like hello this statement i am adding over here okay once this is done i am just click i am just clicking on this commit button okay it means i am adding the new code over here so what exactly happened idly your job should be triggered 
uh, automatically. Jenkins job should be triggered automatically. If I am refreshing this job, guys, here you can see none of the job is triggered over here. None of the job is triggered over here. Uh, this is the main reason. So what the what is the main reason behind it? Now, if I'm if I'm clicking on if I'm building on, so if I'm manually click on this build now options, so then and only then your job will trigger. Now here you can see guys that like whatever uh, steps I mentioned over here like build, deploy, and test. This this all these steps are automatically performed over here. Here you can see. Now uh, the job is running and here you can see all these three steps are passing and here you can see my like last job also like whatever post actions we have that is also going to execute. Now here you can see guys if I'm clicking on this build option and here you can see if I'm clicking on this log option here you can see build word is automatically printed. This is this is why it is printing because of in our pipeline script we provided over there echo build word. So this statement we provided over here. So that is why this is actually printed on this pop-up. So here you can see same thing happened with the deploy as well. Here you can see I'm clicking on this log option. So same actions is performed over here. If I'm clicking on the test option, here you can see same op uh, options you can see over here. So this is how basically we can see. And if I'm opening my Gmail account, you can see guys, if I'm opening my Gmail account, uh, probably you can see, I should get an email from the Jenkins like, your pipeline is successfully passed. Okay, let me open my Gmail account and uh, uh, just wait for a couple of seconds. And here you can see, guys. Here you can see at the 8:30. Uh, here you can see I got the email from the Jenkins like your pipeline status. Okay, once this is done, guys. But the problem here is what is the problem with this solution? We manually trigger this pipeline. But what is my basic scenario? What is the meaning of a CICD pipeline? Continuous integration and continuous deployment. This is the main meaning of. So whenever developer or whenever tester modify something, whenever developer modify something in their existing code, and if he is trying to add the new code into the repository, so basically what happened? Your Jenkins job should automatically trigger. So this is basically basic scenario we have, and whatever pass phase result we have of your smoke test case smoke test cases that email you should get on your email id email address so what exactly i need to do again i need to click on this configured option once i once i am clicking on this configured option here you can see guys what will happen i need to do some kind of changes in my in my job so what kind of changes here you can see guys i'm scrolling down and here you can see build trigger options i can see over here so here here in this section i must need to select poll scm now poll scm means guys we are taking a poll from the source code management system whatever we have whatever version control tool we have that system we are we are checking now what exactly we need to do guys we must need to select the schedule like we must need to schedule our, our job so here what exactly i'm trying to insert i'm inserting star space star space star space star space star five star I'm inserting and in between I'm giving the space. Now you might have questions, sir. What is this? The meaning of these things, guys, we are using the cron expression. So basically, what is meant by the cron expression? Let me explain. Let me give me uh, some basic uh, thing between the cron expression. Wikipedia. Okay. So this is the cron expression. Here you can see, guys. Okay, what is mean by the what is mean by the cron expression? The cron expression it is a command line utility is a job scheduler or Unix like operating system. Users who set up the maintain software environment use the cron to schedule job, also known as a cron job. So whenever we wanted to schedule a job, that time we must need to use this cron expression. Now, now this is what we are calling we are calling it a cron expression. But now you might have question. What is the meaning of this star? Now let me scroll down and here you can see this is the meaning of this five star. Like five star it means we are triggering our job. We are checking from the uh, from the source code manager <clears throat> from the SCM. We are checking like first star it denote minute 0 to 59. Second star actually it is denoting to 0 to 23. Third star it is denoting to day of month 1 to 31. Four star actually it is denoting month 1 to 12 and fifth star it actually it is denoting to 0 to 6 like which day you wanted to trigger now 
all five star it means we are actually checking in the whole of the year every month every week every day every hour every minute actually we are checking ki what we are checking developer is merge their code in the source code manager or not and if if developer is merge their code then automatically this job will be trigger this is the main meaning of this five star now here you can see also you will get the message over over here do you really mean every minute when you say five star perhaps you mean like even you can insert the other options also uh, over here it is not compulsory you must need to uh, provide the all stars over here if you if you wanted to run uh, run your pipeline on the specific day like if i wanted to run my pipeline on the thursday night uh, thursday so here i can provide the uh, four options over here four word four number i can provide over here if i wanted to run my pipeline only january month so here i can provide only one uh, uh, one number over here so this is how basically you can provide the things guys but once this is done now here you can see what exactly i'm trying to do i'm just applying the job and here i'm just saving click on the saving button and once this is done again i'm i'm what exactly i'm trying to do guys again i'm refactor like again i'm adding the new code over here in my in my repository for what guys for checking keep uh, our integration is properly happened or not and you are after the adding the new code in in that particular repository our jenkins job is automatically trigger or not so here you can see guys i am just adding this statement over here once this is done what exactly i am trying to do i am just click on this committing changes once this is done now some kind of change are happened over here i added a new code over here now let me quickly switch on my job and let me refresh so we must need to wait for one minute guys because of we already configured our job what what we already configured our job for wait for one minute because of we are actually taking a pull for what guys from our source code manager and here can here you can see guys our job is automatically triggered over here this is the main advantage and this is how we can basically uh, do we can perform the integration of the jenkins and github this is how basically we are performing guys and this is how we can scheduling our job with the help of the cron expression cron expression basically very very important as point of the interview as well as point of the career as well this is a basic concepts of the ci cd pipeline and this is how uh, we can configure our job uh, in this ci cd pipeline so let's wait for finishing this pipeline guys now here you can see my pipeline is successfully passed over here and uh, post action also successfully done now let me open my gmail account let me check is, is am i getting any email i email over here from the from the jenkins let me refresh these things guys okay uh, let me refresh so i did not get any email from the jenkins so let let wait for a couple of second let wait so is, is this pipeline is complete successfully passed and let me refresh this account it's still loading guys okay it is still loading and uh, and here you can see guys at the uh, like 8 20 here you can see I, I automatically i get the email id from the jenkins this is what exactly i wanted to tell you and this is how basically we can perform we can do the integration between the github and the jenkins guys the, this is this thing i wanted to tell you guys thanks for watching this video if you really like this video please like and subscribe my youtube channel thanks thanks for watching guys